lot different from normal seasons? This season's very uh, uncertain. Uh, it's much different than anything anybody's ever had to deal with in the past. After nearly a month's delay, the fall sports season is about to start. But as we just heard from a few Darien High School student athletes, it'll look a whole lot different than seasons past. Hi everybody, my name is Ted Brennan and welcome to this DAF Media special as we preview the fall 2020 season. There hasn't been a sanctioned high school sporting event since March 9th because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Social distancing, facial coverings, and practicing in cohorts are all part of the new norm as we prepare for a new fall season and the return of high school sports. The one glaring change to this year's fall season is the absence of 11 on 11 football. For the first time since the late 1800s, there will not be a sanctioned high school football game played in the state of Connecticut. Considered a high risk sport by the Department of Health, the CIAC decided to cancel the season after much debate over the last several weeks. However, the FCAC has adopted a new plan which includes seven on seven football and strength challenges. For those teams participating in the fall season, there will be some noticeable changes to help keep students, student athletes safe and mitigate the spread of the virus. No fans or limited spectators at all events, no state tournaments, and the FCAC has created a condensed regular season schedule with teams playing other teams in their region. Darian will be in the FCAC West. There could be up to two additional tournament experience games at the end of the regular season. DAF Media's Damian Andrew caught up with FCA Commissioner Dave Schultz about the condensed regular season and playing through the pandemic. We saw what happened last spring and there was nothing we could do with that. You know, the, it, there was no real control over the disease at that point and, and things in place to work with it. So, you know, we really want to have our senior athletes. That's the most important thing to have our senior athletes have an experience and also to have our senior parents be able to, to watch that. DAF Media's Peter McLean spoke to a number of high school student athletes on their thoughts on this season. Thanks, Ted. I'm here in the Center Oval, home of the Darien girls and boys soccer teams who will each play a 10-game regular season in their pod this year. Lee Parsons is back as the head coach of the Blue Waves girls team. They've been practicing since the end of August in preparation for games against New Canaan, Greenwich, Stanford, and West Hill. It's obviously not a traditional conference schedule, but the captains are just excited for the competition. Yeah, I think we're all really excited. Um, that we're at least like getting out here, being able to play. I knew was, spring sports didn't have anything. So even if we don't even get to be able to play a game, I think we're just happy that we're with, uh, together as a team. I think we're pretty ready. Obviously, we haven't done full field scrimmaging and stuff like that. Um, but I think our fitness has definitely improved during this time, especially like, as I said, the small footwork stuff. I mean, I think any season we get is just going to be one of the most energetic and exciting seasons we've had just because of circumstance. Meanwhile, head coach John Bradley and the Blue Wave boys soccer team also face New Canaan, Greenwich, Stanford, and West Hill. The one difference from the girls' schedule, the boys will play right tech in addition to the FCA just for this season. I'm definitely hopeful. Uh, we also have a great group of guys, um, lots of underclassmen that I think definitely will have the opportunity to shine this season. So, yeah, definitely optimistic. I mean, I think the biggest difference is difference is that, like, we have to factor in like staying apart and staying separate. So it's hard to do practices every day. It's hard coming up with drills that can, are productive, but at the same time, safe. We definitely got a great group of young talent in here. A lot of underclassmen that are going to play well this year, and uh, just looking to make the most of the schedule we've been given. That'll do it from the Center Oval. Back to Ted Brennan in the studio for more on the cross country team's new home. Thanks, Peter. The Blue Wave cross country program now has a home of its own with the completion of the running path around the perimeter of the Darien High School campus. A healthy running surface, the path, more than a mile long and up to eight feet wide, is made up of crushed stone. Darien has three home meets on the schedule this fall. The fact that we have a home course now is just really a great thing. Um, and now we have, uh, we have a place where we have the home field advantage. We have a place that we can uh, train exactly like it's in the meets. So I think it's really going to help us uh, do well this year. Um, we're really excited to have a home course that we can call our own. Uh, I know for a fact our boys have been training hard. We've been putting in the work all summer. I'm really looking forward to this season. I think we have potential, you know, really surprise some teams. We've been training hard. 
And, you know, I think the course is definitely going to play to our advantage. Head coach Mo Minikis and the Blue Wave field hockey team have been hard at work as they prepare for a five-week condensed season. Darian does not have conference rival staples on their schedule. They combined for the last three conference titles. But the Blue Wave is hoping to find success in the altered fall campaign. I think we're really just practicing as hard as we can every day. Just putting our hearts into it because um, we never really know like when our last practice or game is going to be. Well, we're playing with the same four teams this year, so but two of them are like biggest competition usually. I think we're going to do pretty well though and we're just going to try our best to win. We're hoping to play our best every game we get to play and I mean hope like try our best win. And New Canaan's going to be a really good game so we're definitely excited for that. We want to put our best forward. There was some uncertainty over the last few weeks if there would even be a girls volleyball season. But Darianne will play a 10 match regular season against the likes of New Canaan and Greenwich. Girls volleyball is the lone fall sport played indoors, so the players must wear masks during matches. The Darian girls swim team will once again be competing at the Darian YMCA against live or virtual opponents. That'll do it for this DAF Media Special. I'm Ted Brennan. Stay safe, wear a mask, and thanks for watching.